In this tutorial in Cyberlink Audio Director, we're going to give you some tips on how to pan the sound of an audio clip. Now for some of you, panning may be a new term, so we'd like to define it if we may. Imagine that the space between your two ears is an orchestra hall, and you have certain sounds coming from the right side of the platform, certain sounds from the left side, and other sounds from the middle. What panning does is it takes this virtual sound space that you hear when you hear a recording uh, and kind of moves the source of the instrumentation or the music or the vocal from left to right or back again. So you actually can control the apparent location of the sound relative to your hearing in your left ear and your right ear. So that's what panning does. Now, you can do that when you're recording with a, a pan button on a mixer. You can also do that in post-production here in Audio Director. So I have a clip on the screen. We'll play just a couple of measures of it. Okay, you kind of get the gist of what that one sounds like. Now, in Audio Director, when I am on my edit screen, that's the leftmost button on the top, I can edit this individual track. And I have two key areas, two tabs at the bottom. One is effect and one is volume. We're going to be on the volume tab. And there is a double arrow that may be pointed up or down. I'm going to click on it because I want to expose the two tracks in the volume area that we can control. The first is the volume using the volume keys. The second is the pan track. Now, when Audio Director brings in a clip, uh, it will pan it at 100%. If I simply move the mouse over the green line, it says right 100%, left 100%. What does that mean? That means that the sound is perfectly balanced between the left side and the right side. So what I hear at this point in time is perfectly balanced. What I'm going to do is play the clip and then I'm going to take my mouse and I can take the double headed arrow. This will affect the entire clip and watch what happens when I move it up and when I move it down. You notice what happens is when I move it up, the numbers change and the left side goes to 100%, the right side goes to zero. Now it would be nice if you could move it right and left uh, for right side, left side, but we can keyframe this too, so that's not how it's designed. So as I move it up, it decreases the amount of sound I hear on the right side. As I move it down, it, it decreases the amount I hear on my left side. Now, it's hard to push it back right in the middle, but you don't have to worry about that. If you want to readjust it to normal, you just click on the arrow at the far right side between the left and the right, and that will reduce it or return it to 100% or perfectly balanced in the middle. So if you want the sound of the whole track to slightly move, apparently in, in your mind as your brain processes sound, to the right side, you push down a little bit. If you want to go to the left side, you push the line up. So that's a very simple way to do what's called panning of the entire track. Now the other option you have here is you can pan and move the sound around as it plays in that particular track by using keyframing. And to keyframe, all we need to do is hold the control key down and I will get a little tiny square on the green line anytime I am holding the control key down and I can click and it will uh, create a keyframe. Right now that one slightly lowered the right to 93%, the left is still 100. And I'll put another keyframe in over here, 
and then I can adjust it by holding the control key down and now from here on it's perfectly balanced. Uh, let's do a couple of uh, very unusual changes here. We'll, we'll set a keyframe here and we'll set another one here and another one here and one more and you can move the keyframes by the way just by dragging left or right on the line they kind of stick to the line if you want to remove a keyframe you hold the control key down and then I usually drag just off the screen to the south and it disappears so if I want to take this one out I just drag down let go and it removes it so we'll add a couple more here just to play with so let's take this and let's change this uh, that this section goes all the way to the top and then this section here goes all the way to the bottom we'll move this keyframe closer and so let's see what it sounds like when we're moving the sound around uh, down here at this point we have it all on the right side of our uh, mental uh, audio space and then on this part it's all on the left side so we'll go ahead and click on it at this point in time press our spacebar now the sound you hear is on the right channel and then it's going to move quickly to the left side in the middle now and now it's moving to the left So this is a way in which you can individually pan. Again, if you want to reset everything, you simply click the uh, arrow on the very right side of the panning controls, and that will move it back. So if you want to change the apparent placement of the source of the music, uh, this is what you do with the pan control under the volume tab on the edit screen in Cyberlink Audio Director.